our most honorable panel, Mr. Michael F. Saren, and to our dearest audience, good day. Today, we're going to conduct an in-depth analysis of the geological hazard susceptibility of the Bavinia. Now, let's start with the location and accessibility of the Bavinia. Tuba, being one of the oldest and original towns of Cordillera, Philippines, is located at 16 degrees, 18 minutes, and 1.8 seconds north latitude, and 120 degrees, 34 minutes, and 26.4 seconds east longitude at the southwestern tip of both Benguet and Central Cordillera mountain range that extends from the northwestern tip of Luzon up until Pagasina. As you can see, the western lies in the Ilocas rolling hills of the province of La Union. It is bordered by north by the municipality of Sablan and La Trinidad, east by the municipality of Baguio and Itogol, west by the municipalities of Rosario, Pugo, and Angay, and south by the municipalities of Sison, Mosolunio, and San Manuel. This is Tuba's topography and geography morphology. As you can see in the map, Tuba's topography is generally characterized by irregular rock terrain and steep slopes, with se several mountain peaks rising from the table land itself. Mount Santo Tomas, as you can see here, the highest peak in the municipality soars to 2,252 meters above sea level. Four major rivers or streams and 49 tributaries or minor rivers and creeks intersect the landform and serve as the grave of the municipality, as you can see here. It is only on the northern point of the municipality that it is characterized by gentle rolling terrains, low hills connected to beaches and inland valleys. Only few of the areas could be considered flatland. Valleys, bases, and flatlands. These landforms constitute the southern and western portion of the area with an elevation of valleys from 185 meters to 220 meters. Now let's proceed to the plateau. So, the plateau in Tuba Benguet, most of the developed portions of the municipality are located within a plateau that elevates with a height of 2,000 meters above sea level. The height of this is, like what I said earlier, is Mount Santo Tomas, soaring up to 2,250 2, meters and overlooking the central and northern plains of Luzon. Then, let's proceed to steep slopes. Landforms of this type are found mostly on the northern portion of the municipality, as you can see there. Steep slopes are obviously impede the physical development of the said municipality. <laughs> the Luzon Arc is a complex plot of volcanoes extending from the coastal ridge of southeastern Taiwan to the volcanic islands of north of Luzon, the Luzon Central Cordillera, and the Western Luzon Arc ending at Orenbukia Island. The arc has been active since the Oligocene period to the present. Next, please. As you can see, the Philippine Fault Zone, a left lateral strike slip fault that ranges 1,200 kilometers behind the Philippine Trench. It extends from Ilocos region in northwest Luzon down to the Dabao Gulf in the south. Its extensions are characterized by branching faults due to brittle terminations. As you can see in the generalized historic map of northern Luzon, structures observed in the area can be related to the regional tectonic settings. Variations in the trend of the structures are attributed in the tectonic history and nature of emplacement of most of these rocks. This involves intrusion, uplift, and the effect of regional stresses. So, Tuba Fault, being one of the northern segments of the Philippine Fault Zone, is one of the earthquake generators within Cordillera at this administrative region. Alongside it is Idlib Fault, Debo Fault, San Manuel Fault, Bubu Fault, and Abra River Fault. The Tuba Fault is in the northwest wing of Baguio City, approximately 5 kilometers away. It is 50 kilometers long and could generate a 7.5 earthquake magnitude. Active fault within the Cordillera region 
with the of the bucket, indicated by a point in the right circle. Reaching from the Philippine Institute of Volcanology and Seismology. Fault lies along, around, and within the Cordillera, at least in the region, Philippines, with the location of Cuba Blanket, determined by the Blue Party, retrieved from the Office of Body City Planning and Development Coordinator. Next is the general geological setting. There is a formation under the Central Cordillera Stratigraphic Groupings, known as Bucal Formation, which unconformably overlies Cuba Blanket and is distributed to the Baguio District. It has a thickness of 1,700 meters. This is a series of conglomerates and sandstones and shales in places with limestone lenses and intermits of volcanic flows and tufts. On the other hand, the Kina limestones, which unconformably overlies the zigzag formation along the Buen, the Buen River at Camp 3, it overcrops on the Mount Santa, Santa Tomas and in Trinidad Banguet. The discovery of gold in Banguet by the early settlers during the early part of 1930, led to the gold rush and the sub subsequent flourishing mining industries in the locality. Notable deposits include the Baguio Gold District and the Santo Tomas Second Mine. These were included by dikes, stocks, and plutons of igneous bodies, ranging in composition from diorite quartz, diorite, and granodiorite. Next, Tuba Benguet is composed mostly of intrusive rock units. Volcanic and sedimentary rocks are also observed. Based on field observations, the oldest rocks are metaandesites, which are part of the Bugo Formation. These metaandesites are intruded by the middle Miocene. Now, let's proceed to fault and seismicity related hazards. Of the 1990 Lusuna earthquake, as you can see in the figure retrieved from the box, um, hit the Philippines on July 16, with an estimated magnitude of 7.7 .7 and maximum intensity of 9, which is considered to be violent, and produce a ground rupture that stretched from Dengalan, Aurora to Kayako, Nueva Ecija, and the Benguet region. This was a result of the movements along Philippine Fault and Dingding Fault within the Philippine Fault system. Most of the movements were located on Central Resort and Cordillera Administrative Region. Now let's proceed to liquefaction. Liquefaction is a geologic event caused by temporary weakening of sediments in soil, in which soil acts like liquid, which was caught on camera current in Benguet on 2015. The video shows um, a hillside sliding away from the rest of the hill where the house is stand. Um, deforestation is believed to be the main cause of the destructive phenomenon in Tuba Benguet. Moving on the mass movement of the place, the most frequent and widespread damaging landslide are induced by a heavy and or or prolonged rainfall. Last September this year, Typhoon Hong Kong brought landslide that caused permanent deformation. Second finding is the erosion caused by ongoing government widening project in 2014. Next is the volcanic hazard. There is no really findings in the volcanic hazard since the only volcano located in Cuba is Mount Santo Tomas, which was also listed as inactive in peoples. Lastly, the hydrological hazard. Flooding caused by Agno River to Ansagan area and another rampant, rampant flooding caused by the Typhoon Hong Kong in this year. For the recommendations in the geohazards, the, the researchers are recommending to place massive objects on the bottom and secure them to, near, to nearby walls. Furthermore, the terrain with liquefaction should have a high layer of clay cut with other geological layers. Impermeable membranes should cover the land to prevent water infiltration in landscape. Planting trees should also be implemented in erosion prone areas. And lastly, wetlands should be stri strategically protected. They also recommend in this research to have further assessment work. Also improve the mitigating measures for engineering structures. 
Lastly, regular expression.